Hello and welcome to Shift for Shops presentation, Online Store Manager, Payment Setup. Thank you for being with us today. My name is Arne Simmons and I'm a training specialist here at Shift for Payments, which is the parent company of Shift for Shop. I have been extremely fortunate to have spent more than the past two decades doing what I absolutely love, which is training. And for the last decade, conducting systems trainings, which is what brings us together today. In our time together, we will be covering the following Shift for Shop payment setup options. The payment module, our tax manager, range-based taxes, and tax codes. Let's start at the beginning. You'll use your username and password to log in, which will take you to your online store manager admin page. From here on the left side, you see the left-hand navigation menu. This is your access point to most features within the online store manager. In the lower portion of the left-hand manager, you are able to select the left-facing arrow to minimize that left hand navigation menu. Here we see pictured both the expanded and minimized left hand navigation menu. Either way, whether expanded or minimized, you are able to make selections from any of the options. For those options that have additional options within, like settings, you can hover over the gear to populate the additional options off to your right when that left-hand navigation menu is in the minimized form. So for us, we'll select settings or the gears. From there, we'll select payment, which takes us to our payment page where we find our best-in-class e-commerce payments. We'll start with the payment methods and select payment methods. From here, we have you set up with shift for payments for the payment options your customers can use. You'll need to select complete payment setup or complete payment account setup. From there, it'll take you to the form where you'll enter your banking information and additional information about your business so that we can go ahead and set up our place for funding and verify. Please select complete account setup in the upper right corner and or save. From there, we return and move down to the manage settings section. We'll start with the far right with the advanced settings. And from advanced settings, we'll get a pop-up box where we can further customize based on what you would like your customers to see. We'll use an example here. The confirmation message is thanks, and we'd like to change that. So we'll type over, and we've entered, thank you for supporting small businesses. We'll select save, and that's the confirmation message that will be seen when customers make a payment. Additionally, we'll need to select click to connect with shift for payments. So we'll do just that. We get a pop-up box where we'll enter our email address. This is the email address that shift for payments will use for communication. We'll select connect. And now we see over to the left, connected to shift for payments using the email address you enter and it will give you a merchant number. That merchant number will be emailed to you as well as it can be found in your online store manager. Now from the payments page, we'll go to the tax manager section and select set up tax. We're able to import or once we have information in, export the information from our tax manager. You may choose a third-party company or one of our plugins 
to import tax information, or you could choose to do it manually. We'll go through the manual process. So down at the bottom, we'll select Add New Sales Tax. It's worth saying, rather stressing at this point, that you may need to check with your local commerce laws to see how online tax is handled for your business. Again, we know that tax information is very important. We give you the setup to enter the information, but you may need to check with your local commerce laws to see how taxes are handled online for your business. The example that we'll use here is for Florida. Florida's online or e-commerce laws are very straightforward and similar, if not the same, to brick and mortar stores. So if you were to walk into a retail store in Florida, you would pay the Florida sales tax for that area, regardless of where you're from. And so they treat online the same way. So we've entered Florida. This store is located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And in Fort Lauderdale, the sales tax is 7%. So all we'll need to do is enter Florida and 7%, and add. This adds our tax information to our tax manager. If we needed to add additional lines because it was more complex, by all means, we would go up to the upper right corner and select add new and add the additional information needed. Again, remember, you also have that option to import and you could do that via a CSV file. Further down, we see recommended tax solutions. So you may recall a moment ago, I mentioned add-ons or modules that can be added to assist you with your taxes. So here we see recommended tax solutions. We give three different options. And by selecting sign up, it will give you more information about what that particular uh, product offers and pricing. Sign up does not obligate you to it. It just allows you to view it. And then if you would like to add it, by all means, you can sign up from that link. And now the next thing we have from our tax manager is gift certificates. So we'll go ahead and select create gift certificate. The nice thing or one of the nice things about our gift certificates is you're able to put them for any dollar amount. They're not set up in increments of five or 10. You can make it for any dollar amount you'd like. This is especially nice because you can use your gift certificate in the traditional gift certificate sense, or you can also use them in lieu of a merchandise credit. So for example, you may put the stipulation on your website that says all refunds will be issued via a gift certificate or refunds after a certain time frame, maybe 14 days, 30, 60, 90 days will be issued via gift certificate as opposed to the payment form used. This can be a money saving tip for you as the merchant because anytime you refund via a credit card, there's a fee that you'll assess. So here you could issue a gift certificate, that way you don't get any fee and that money will still be used within your store. So let's go ahead and take a look. There are two different ways we can create them. We can create them in a group or bulk or we can do it individually. So let's go ahead and start individual. We'll select from the bottom, create a gift certificate. Then we'll enter the dollar amount and select generate. Remember, this can be for whatever dollar amount you need. It takes us to our gift certificate page. Of course, this is the first one we've created, but if we had more, they would be listed here. It instantly gives us our code or gift certificate number, a well says the date it was created, the amount and the balance. Of course, right here, our balance and amount match because it's just been created. But this will also track our gift certificate and show the new balance if a portion or all 
of the gift certificate is used. As mentioned, we can also create group certificates. So in the upper right corner, we would select group certificates. That will allow us to import or export these gift certificates as needed. But let's start with creating them. We'll select create a coupon campaign. We'll name the campaign. Let's say we have a company who contacts us. Their name is Chef's Apron and they would like $150 gift cards. They use them as part of promotions and they'd like to have them on hand. So we'll name the campaign Chef's Apron, select add. And then we'll go ahead and create the gift certificates. So they would like them to be for $50 and they'd like 100 of them. Right in between those two data points, we have restrict certificate from tax, shipping, and promotions. This is an option for you. I've chosen to use it because I don't want those $50 gift certificates to be assessed that 7% sales tax in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I also don't want them to get assessed with a shipping fee. And finally, if I'm running a promotion, for example, 20% off the entire store, I don't want them to have 20% off of $50 when they purchase the gift certificate. So for the gift certificates, I'd like to tick that box and restrict in those manners. I'll go ahead and select generate. And now I've instantly generated $150 gift cards for Chef's Apron. If I needed to delete any or all of them, I have the option to do that. Over on the action column to the far right, I can select that cog and it gives me the option to edit or delete. Let's go ahead and take a look at edit. So if I select edit, I have additional options. I can enter notes into the general notes section. Let's say someone calls in, they've lost their gift certificate. I look it up for them. Maybe I issue them a new one and I put a note in there so that I know what happened with the old certificate number as I cancel that one out and generate a new one. Or maybe I just leave it as that existing one and go ahead and put a note in, depending on the situation. And down at the bottom, I can also see the certificate source, who created this. And finally, when we talk about tracking, it tracks it down to say when the gift certificate was used. So the invoice date it was used, the invoice number, what was the amount of that actual order, and the portion of the gift certificate, if not all, that was used on that particular invoice. As we come to a close, I'd like to mention, as pointed out previously, we are here to put the rocket fuel in your business. We're here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year, because we know that business hours aren't always nine to five. So we're here for you via live chat. You can select the chat button, which is always located on the lower right side of your screen. You'll enter your name, email address, and the department you would like to contact. From there, you can select the chat or you can enter your question or concern and then start your chat. Additionally, from the left-hand side, on that left-hand navigation menu, you can select the question mark. The question mark will give you knowledge point or knowledge base information for the specific page that you're on. If you need further information, you can select to create a ticket. You'll simply use the open ticket box in the lower right corner. And by selecting that, it will take you to our new ticket page and you'll complete that form. It will give you a confirmation or reference number and that will be emailed to you as well. So in closing, we are here to assist you with Shift for Shop setup and success. At the end of the day, your success is our success, and we are here, as you've heard me say before, to put the rocket fuel in your business. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us to learn more about payment setup and Shift for Shop.
please know that we have five additional webinars in this series, and we'd love for you to come back and to view those as well. We have orders, products, uh, payments, shipping, and a few more. So come on back and enjoy learning more about Shift4Shop. Thanks a bunch and have a wonderful week.